Sheer scale and glitter, this was hardly a premiere which one generally associates with India's leading showman. But for critics and film buffs, the occasion marked the release of one of the most hyped and successfully marketed films of Mukta Arts. The much-awaited Trimurti from the stable of Movi Mughal, Subhash Ghai. Trimurti is a story... I've been always told that Mr. Ghai turns out better content than I do. So I said, okay, within your content and within my form, we might find, find a very interesting combination. So he put in the creative time for the scripting. Within my approval, he sat with the writers, Karan Razdan and Anis Basmi. And that's why um, I got a very well uh, scripted uh, film, you see. For both the producer and the director, the release of Trimurti marks the end of a project, beset by roadblocks and delays. Two years ago, the film was launched with the typical glitter and hoopla that go with a razzle-dazzle style of Ghai. And everything about the project seemed to be larger than life-size. But then came the bombshell. Even as the film went to the floor, it hit a breaker when its main star, Sanjay Dath, was imprisoned on charges of abetting terrorist activities. After months of waiting, Ghai decided to complement the trio of Shah Rukh Khan and Jackie Shroff by substituting Anil Kapoor for the incarcerated Dutt. Things chugged along after that, but not without the inevitable halts, repeated reworkings of script and the never-ending final touches till the last day. We, uh, being directors, both of us, were quite conscious of the fact that the audience would have high expectations. So a lot of leeway was given to correct things if we felt they were not up to the mark. I set up a very high uh, standard of achievement and he set up a very stand high standard of achievement within scripting. And uh, there were times when we thought that you know things could be better. But that is within the preview of every work in cinema. Rarely are you fully satisfied. We went on shooting till the last day. And compensating for the film's lacklustre music by Ghai's favourite duo, Lakshmi Kant Pyare Lal, is the technical gloss and finesse imparted by the masterly camera work of a cinematographer Ashok Mehta. This is the first film with even photography. After the prologues get over, the film takes on a new dimension in photography. As much as 75 shifts of photographical lighting has gone into this film. And that is a costly exercise. And Ashok worked diligently to light up in a new style. Our theatres are not very well equipped to handle high contrast lighting. And a lot of filmmakers have been indulging in it with complaints from the theatre owners. Within this film, we try to light up in a more brighter way, and a more acceptable way uh, internationally. While Ghai and his scriptwriters have tried to breathe new life into the film's main protagonists, painstaking efforts have gone into detailing the character of Kuka, the comic book Evil Sorcerer, played by noted stage and art film actor Mohan Agashi. Predictably, the film had the crowds trooping into theatres around the country in the opening draw this week. But the initial spot reactions were mixed, if not disappointing. Uh, story is okay, not very well, it's okay. Nothing nice about it. first class. The box office fortunes of Trimurti, which is being premiered in both New York and London, and even promoted on the internet, will be either made or marred in the next few weeks. But whatever be the outcome, the film will be a litmus test for those dream merchants of the tinsel world who steadfastly believe that Indian audiences essentially love to lap up old masala in polished bright new 70mm packages.